Hi, everyone, and welcome to this special episode of the Passive House Podcast, recorded in Terrytown, New York, at the FiasCon 2021 Passive House Conference. Before we get started, I want to thank Fias for putting on the conference and for coordinating with us on these interviews, as well as NYSERDA for serving as conference partner with Fias and community partner with us here at the Passive House Accelerator. Thank you, too, to Rockwell North America. Their generous support underwrote all of these interviews, as well as our coverage of the conference. With that, please enjoy my interview with Steve Hessler of Holstrom System. <laughs> Hi, I have Steve Hessler here with me, co-founder of Holstrom System, and it's great to have you here to, to uh, chat with me. Thanks for Thank joining. Thank you, Zach. It's, yeah. great to, it's always great to talk to you. Yeah, yeah. And we just had a, a fun chat with Ilka, so yeah. it's, it's good, to, good to follow up with yeah, you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, absolutely. So um, Ilk, with Ilka, we didn't dive into a Holstrom, so it'd be great to hear a, a little introduction of, of yourself and what Holstrom is all about. Um, all right, so Hol I'll start with Holstrom and then I can yeah. maybe feather in a little bit why, why I have bring value to it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Holstrom system kind of came from, uh, I was running a high performance build division for a company, um, timber frame and high performance building, passive house builder. And Ilka approached me in 2014 or maybe 15 and said, hey guys, I think we finally have a project. She knew my boss, and she's like, I think I finally have a pass house that we could work on together. And we did, and we did a uh, site built, and then we tried the next one. Well, the story is after that, we only worked together on projects after that because it was such a great connection. Awesome. Um, and so she was the CPHC, and I'm a CPHC, but I don't do the energy modeling. So we did, then we did a project with um, BuildSpart panel, wall panels, and we kind of dipped our toe into panelization, and then, um, which went fairly well. And then <clears throat> we found out about Blueprint Robotics around the same time we had already decided that we really wanted to look at uh, doing, number one, getting foam out of our assemblies, and number two, um, while looking at va kind of vapor open, we had our eyes on it. We were looking at wood fiber already at this point. We've been looking at a little CLT. And then uh, we found out that Blueprint Robotics had a, had a history in Germany and we're actually doing wood fiber in Germany back then, but they weren't here. We approached them and we started to collaborate with them and we did two projects before we formed Holtzrum, where Ilka was with her firm, I was still with that builder, and we, Ilka and I kind of just modeled and managed everything and learned a lot. And we're like, you know, there's actually quite a bit of a bridge necessary between design intent and then all the panel companies. And not to say that these phenomenal panel companies don't get it done, but um, you know, an in-house designer is limited on cost and, and kind of bandwidth and connection to the project to be able to fill in a lot of the other things outside of what they're going to make. And I think that's what Holstrom System does. So we, we already need to do a production model because you need a model of things you're going to make. And it's a very accurate, precise model with all, every part. And so we started to, and have been evolving over the years, that that model is paid for because if you if they priced you against a stick built and you won the job, then that means that the design of most of that model was just paid for. So why not put a little bit of a premium on that to expand the model into what we call single integrated manufacturing model? And that means now the production model takes on site work. Sometimes we even have an excavation model. We get MEP from MEP engineer or we model it structural steel, local concrete, all that. So that's kind of what we do is we model all it and then we we walk, consult and walk the client through till they get to a point where we've done all the clash detection, advised on the assemblies, and then make it a production package for companies that we have partnerships with like New Energy Works, Blueprint Robotics, Collective Carpentry, um, we're hoping to maybe do a project uh, next year with GoLogic, which would be super exciting. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, that's we're just and we take that cost away from them because they don't really need to do. They don't have any in-house design costs. Maybe a little, but not much. So we take the place of them. So it doesn't really bump much cost up. The only extra cost is that that now we kind of have this construction administ uh, administration assist because 
we're helping the builder like, well, what are you going to do here? You know, how are you going right. to connect that control layer? What about insulating underneath your point loads in the basement? Like we bring what we know into the model. And uh, so that's, that's how it works. And that, that cost is more of an upfront investment in savings yeah. later in the, in the, oh, yeah. in the project. I mean, it pays yeah. for it every time very early yeah. because those things were going to creep up, especially yeah. on more complex buildings. Yeah. They were going to creep up in the form of an unknown change order right. and right. delay. Yeah. So what, that's kind of what we are. We're like, we're like the, the Harvey Keitel cleaner in the beginning. <laughs> we're going to find where the errors are and we're going to model them. And then we're going to say, what are we going to do about this thing? So that's what we do. And what, what kind of scale of projects are you working on so, uh, at the, these days? Uh, well, I don't know why we keep getting these crazy big uh, high end, not always high end, but, but really nice custom projects. Yeah. But we have done projects as small together as small as 1,500 square feet. We've done uh, quite a few over six or 7,000 square feet, and we've done a 10,000 square foot. And these are houses. We're doing, these are houses. These are houses. Yeah. We're doing, currently we're working on, actually on November 2nd, we're going to do a Tech Tuesday with you guys. Yeah. And I'm so excited to show you the one that we're working on with a partner called Stoltz. Um, it, Collective Carpentry is going to do the light frame. We have the CLT partner in Montana. Uh, Stoltz Timber System, and it's their project, and we kind of do design work. We do this work for them on projects where they're like, we don't want to do that without this process. That project is eight over 8,000 square feet. It has uh, imported CLT roof and floor panels. Uh, it's in Montana. Collective Carpentry will ship down all of the panels, walls, uh, interior and exterior walls, uh, structural steel local, concrete local and all of it is in our model and it's all coordinated and and uh, collective carpentry is going to install the whole damn thing so it's kind of i saw jan today and we're like this yeah. is going to be crazy he's like yep this one's going to be crazy but it's beautiful project i can't yeah. wait to show you yeah well, i'm looking forward to that that'll yeah. be fun that'll be yeah. fun so you uh, just presented on a, a panel, a prefab panel, and yeah. I, we I, we had a little preview session on the Construction Tech Tuesday this 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 week about it. Um, I'd love to hear uh, the insights that you sh were sharing on the panel, and maybe um, some takeaways from the other panelists. Uh, I, I think that folks who weren't able to be there would love to hear about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was it was a lot of fun, and it was a great group. And we got to chat, like, you know, a, a few times online kind of prepping for this. Yeah. I've been a humongous fan of Tessa yeah. forever. Yeah. And it was really cool because I've seen her speak, I don't know, six, seven times. But today was cool because, especially at the Q&A, you know, it was Tessa who I didn't, I just learned today, before they started working with Collective Carpentry, they actually were their own panel company, which is huge. I told Tessa, that makes you like the best architect client for a company like us because you get it. You understand all the challenges and that you do have to order the windows before you might even have a contract. You know, you all the weird things and the permits are going to be weird. And so she gets all that. And it was really reassuring and, and awesome to, to know that the challenges are not just ours, that they they definitely get these challenges and as a team. And, and Jan was up there from Collective with her. That was cool. And so, yeah, we're, I feel, and also Alan. I mean, Alan, yeah. again, Alan I've been Gibson. a gigantic yeah. fan yeah. of Alan's. So, and, that, and, and I'm excited to, you know, like I said, to maybe work with those guys. But there's just so much to learn. And it, it's just a re, like a ridiculous share is the community yeah. anyway. Yeah. And then that felt like that was the prefab share. It That's was cool. really good. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. I wish it was longer. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. That's so key that, yeah. that this community is sharing that way because we all need to yeah. ramp up as fast as we can so yeah. we can yep. figure it out together. Yeah. What about uh, like overall impressions of the conference? What, what have any other um, good takeaways that yeah. you'll be taking home with you? Yeah. Um, it's been amazing to be back in the community in person yeah it's been great speakers including yourself to see that again is awesome um and i loved the microgrid block that microgrid the dc microgrid I, block i so wanted to go to I'm that session so glad i went yeah to that. yeah that was the one that lisa was leading yeah, right? lisa led yeah. lisa she White. was great and yeah. then the two follow-ups were there were two or three after that were so good and 
I like had seen a micro good thing. I think maybe I can't remember if it was Pittsburgh or Chicago. So I kind of like knew enough to be really dangerous on it, <laughs> but I hadn't. But then after that block yesterday, I, I was like, oh my God. And then there's been some crazy advancements about, you know, like using the EV cars to be able to power the house. Right. It just, right. it was like mind blowing. Yeah. I know Tim spoke about that. I heard too. I missed him. It's, it's nice to actually meet some people that actually kind of have heard what Ilk and I are doing. You know, that's, yeah, right. Is, that's I mean, I'm pretty right? new. I'm relatively new. Yeah. I got certified in 2015. So you could call me like a newbie on this whole thing. So like, I'm still starstruck when I see all you guys. And, and, and this has been kind of weird because people are like, oh yeah, yeah. I like what you're doing. And I'm like, all right, good. So I think maybe we're on the right track. Yeah, definitely. You're definitely on the right track. And 2015 makes you a veteran in this community, right? You think? <laughs> I don't know. Every time it's someone a, says where they, there's always like, we did our first house in 2008. I'm like, yeah. I know. Damn. Well, there are a couple that way. A lot of, a lot of 2010s. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah, I mean, it's only well, a few that's, years. Well, makes me a five-year newbie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think 2014, we, my company had done a passive house, uh, but I wasn't actually, I was still kind of on the timber frame side and I saw what's happening. And I was, I told my boss, I said, I'm going to FIAS to get certified. Yeah. You're going to pay for it. You're going to be glad I did. And right. we're going to tackle this because he had, he was dabbling. He wanted to do past house, but he was dabbling. I'm like, we're doing it. Yeah. And then I was, I, I was with them until, um, right before COVID came out, we finally, you know, I finally went full time to Holtram and he knew it was sort of all worked out, Yeah. but you know, I had a good run with them basically just figuring this stuff out and building all these different assemblies and and cool. pricing everything. I priced a lot of buildings and watched things work and not work. Yeah. So it was like, it was a great setup for then when Ilka and I right. like kind of like locked in on this panelization thing and then we were able to bring the wood fiber in and, and now we're working on, one thing we are working on now that I'm gonna talk about in November is we're, we're all about the data attachment and like finding more value in the model and so we're yeah, we'll talk more about it. Yeah. The data attachment yeah. has got outrageous promise. Oh, cool. So we're excited about that. Oh, that's intriguing. Yeah. Yeah. Steve, thanks. This is good. Yeah. Uh, great to sit down with you. Is yeah. there anything else you want to add before we close up? Uh, looking forward to the, um, the mixer yeah, and the bus tour. Yeah. And thank you so much for asking me to talk. Of course. Yeah. Of course, man. Yeah. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Yeah. And you too. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you.